Hello and welcome back to the KFN Chronicles. I am Kevin and we're going to be meeting a very special person today. And that person is Brian Lee, my fellow Asian bro that I met in the boat two years ago when we moved here from China. Fresh off the boat, baby. Fresh off the boat, dude. <laughs> fuck yeah, fuck yeah. And we're eating egg rolls after this. Fried rice and soy sauce. Oh, along God. with dumplings. Oh God, don't talk about it. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> anyway, back, back back on topic, back to more, I guess, non-food item related stuff. Um, we're here to interview Brian. You'll get a better insight in terms of who he is because on the show, they did a very bad job of um, just, you know, just really getting to know who we are because, I mean, for me personally, it was just, hi, it's Kevin, you know, this is Kevin, you know, hi, I'm Kevin, I'm a fucking tool, and I'm on the show. Welcome, and that was about it, so... Um, yeah, so we're going to dig a bit deeper and find out who Brian is as a wonderful human being, so... Make sure you don't dig too deep. Okay, I won't dig too <laughs> deep. We'll, we'll dig, like, borderline deep. How about that? It might be too vulgar. <laughs> <laughs> Remember? No, hell no! Dude. Make it as vulgar as possible, all man. Right. I, I want to hear some, like, gross, fucked up shit, alright? Um, <laughs> you guys are in for a treat. So, yeah, Brian, tell us, about your, tell us a bit about your past, because me as an Asian guy, I went through some pretty shitty things in high school and college. Um, I've been called Chang, Small Big McGee, like, you know, like, Charlie, everything. So. Yeah, like H- Small was... Jimmy, Needle Dick, Camel Dick, you, you name it, I've been called. How was, like, high school for you? High school? Yeah. Um, highlight of my high school was probably, I was in the swim team, I swam. I swam and I swam, and been, went to the prom with a guy, which was pretty horrible. How, how, how do you swing that? Well, damn, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I, well, well, I mean, just yeah, right. yeah, step by step. Wait, wait, so, so usually when you go to prom, you, you go with a yeah, girl. You, so like, like um, U.S. customs, right? Um, when you go to prom, you go with. A girl, right? But, like, in high school, I wasn't allowed to go to school dances. Or I wasn't allowed to hang with, like, friends. Grew up with a very strict, like, in a very strict household. And, um, the only school dance I got to go to was prom. And, um, I'm saying, and oh my, and oh my, and oh my. No, it's not, it's not. All right. And a small tangent, how is your mom, by the way? Because you talked a lot about your mom on the show and no oh, my mom. on the air. Oh, my gosh. Give my... us a brief synopsis into M- Mrs. Lee, I mean, um, the notorious. Like, I love my mom to death, but oh, my gosh. When, like, when she tries to speak English, it's like Yoda. You, know, you don't understand her. Can you give us but a demo? So, oh, my gosh. Like, okay. Um, what do you want me to say? I'll, I'll Brian, reenact it. Come, come do your fucking math homework. And eat dinner afterwards. Brian, come do your homework and come and do your fucking homework after you're done eating. Okay? You know, do your homework. I take away your video game, no computer, no laptop for you, no MySpace. You understand me? You don't understand me? I I punish you, you know, go out with friend no more. Okay? You stay home, you stay in your room. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Um... <laughs> How about your dad? Can you give us a daddy rendition, perhaps? My dad? Or... Oh, man, my dad. Um, my dad's a pretty cool kid. He's, like, the coolest kid alive. Like, my little brother. Um, I don't know. He's he's pretty chill and laid back. Okay. My mom's the, the strict ruler of the house. The Nazi? Yeah, she's a Nazi. The Asian Nazi, straight up. The Asian Nazi. Man. Okay. Well, here, tell you what. I mean, how, how have your relationships been in the past? Like, have you had any girlfriends? You know, honestly, um, I've... I've, um, like, I have girl, like, I, I've had, like, girlfriends, but no, like, I mean, like, I had, like, friend girls, but no girlfriend. Like, girls that I, hang out with you. Yeah, I've, oh, I've okay. never had a girlfriend, and I'm usually, well, if I go, if I hang out with a girl, um, usually she'll, she'll call me up and she'll want me to go shopping for her, so I'm, like, the gay dude going shopping with the girl, you know? So, like, in, in reality, like, I like this girl more than... Like I want it to be, be more than just friends. I'm always like the, the like the cool nice guy, the the guy that's always like there for that girl, you know. But like, I want a little bit more, you know. Sometimes I want like more than a friendship, you know. I want someone that I can like share my emotions and feelings with, you know. Because right. sometimes like 
like, I'm a guy and like I have emotions too, you know, and if you hurt my feelings, I'll stand there in the middle of the room and I'll just cry like a little boy, you know, and that's what I want. I want someone there so I can share my feelings and emotions with. Okay. Um, have you tried like physically escalating with like friends that are, I mean, I'm not gonna, I've tried before. Uh, I'm not going to say who it was, but she knows who she is. Like, we were sitting down one day watching a movie, and I pulled a fucking, like, you know, yawning bullshit. Yawning bullshit. And she's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, oh, God, my bad, my bad. And I, I was just cowering in the corner for the rest of the night, and it was terrible. H- have you tried physically escalating with the girl before, or, like, how did that go? Well, um, like, I've got some pretty, like, healing hands. I like to give massages, awesome. but, like, once I get a little bit too touchy, they kind of move to the side, but... Like, like the the type of escalating I like to do is like from the shoulders down to the back, and if it all goes smoothly, maybe like swoop under and the boobs and. <laughs> 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 like, have you actually done this to like one of your like friends that are girls? Yeah, have it, you tried it, to? It didn't turn out too well. What happened? G- give me a play by play. Play by play. Yeah. All right. So, um, what's up, Brian? She called me, and uh, sh- she's like, "Let's hang out." I'm like, "All right, cool." Like, what do you want to do? She, she was like, um, "Let's go watch a movie." You know. Um, I don't remember what movie. This this girl called me. She wanted to go watch a movie. I think it was um, I don't know, Shrek Two. You know? Okay, Shrek Two. Yeah. I'm like, shit. I want some booty too. You know. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Like, and she, and she just called me. I mean, the, the fucking ogre is getting booty. You know, yeah, the yeah. big fucking, like, non humans getting the, booty. Yeah, like, the green like, monster's getting booty. Why the hell are we getting booty? How come booty? I'm not getting no booty? I like, yeah, that's bullshit. I want some yeah. booty too. You want Shrek too? I want booty too, you know? Exactly. So, elaborate. So, I said I want booty too, and it just all went downhill from there. Did you try putting your arm around her? Did you try the whole massage tactic? Or what did you do? Um, you try implementing. That comes. That comes, um, that's when I get close to a girl, and I put her, my arms around her, and she, she says, you don't deserve to put my, your arms around me. I'm like, then you don't deserve me being next to you, and I just, like, I don't, I don't know what to say, so I just left her. In the movie theater. In the movie theater. So she just chilling, eating this. So she called me, she was like, like, where'd you go? I said, I left you. Cause you didn't let, cause I guess, I, like. You don't deserve me. And that was it, huh? And that's it. I and just, you just bounced. I you, just, you, just, you peaced. You damn, were done. I just left her ass in the theater and drove home. Cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, props, I guess, man, for, I, I guess, being a man. And, you know, Now that you've been on the show and mystery changed all of our lives, yeah. how has your life been with women after the show? I mean, like, I've made lots of mistakes, and uh, I've, I've learned from my mistakes, you know? Um, I strengthened in a lot of areas that were weak. And um, I've just been, um, I don't know, I lost my words. Give us, give us some of your <laughs> anecdotes, because I mean, you got anecdotes. two awesome stories. That girl you met in Vegas, and the girl that you were with, what was it, about a week and a half ago? A week and a half ago? Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. She was like... Everything. Let, let it loose, let it loose, Brian. Let it loose. Let it loose. Alright, so, right after I got off the show, um, went to Vegas with my parents of course, to go visit family. And while my family was gambling and doing their their usual thing that they do, I, w- I chilled in the pool, you know, tried to open up as many sets as I could, got blown out probably by at least 20, 20 or 30 sets, got to my final set, three girls. Um, one chick was my target. The other girl was her little sister. Mm-hmm. Was not my target. She was like thirteen, and <laughs> the other one was like her friend, and she had a guy with her. I think it was her, 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 her friend's like boyfriend or something, or some guy she just yeah, met. Just some and dude. gosh, it it is hard. Uh, well, like it's hard for me because like I'm so, I'm like I'm like new to the game and like new to pickup. I feel you. I feel you. So like, it is hard to bounce a girl that's just chilling inside the pool to the tanning chairs. So what I did was I did, um, I used a, um, the David, David Bowie opener, like 